Bins, bins, bins. It always seems like you've got too many bins. You can't just throw them away. Now there's new bin hutch. Bin hutch is specially made for bins and holds up to three bins. Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines, and if you couldn't quite tell, we've had a bit of a bin problem. First we had six bins, and then we had nine bins, and then six, and finally the standard three. We live in a row house, so there's nowhere to keep the bins except in our beautiful all-concrete front yard. Dublin is very windy, so the bins would often blow right open, but mainly I just hated looking outside or coming home and seeing the bins and concrete. So I drew up some plans and ordered some 2.4 metre lengths of 75 by 35 millimetre rough on timber, got out my circular saw and drill and set to work. I built this on my own so I had to plan my build in a way that I could lift, brace and attach everything alone. I started by measuring everything out and making two end frames with a brace across the centre for extra stability. These were joined together by pre-drilling my holes and driving in some long screws. I remembered part way through that I'd need to build the top on a slight slope for rain runoff. So I trimmed the tops of the front vertical beams to a small angle, around 10 degrees. When the two side frames were together, I propped them up against my bins and took a few minutes to figure out how I'd best join everything together. I decided to put one brace across the bottom and one across the top, then screwed in two more inner dividing frames to the bracing. It's only what it shows, it's only what it knows, it's only what it's supposed to be, it's what it's supposed to be. And although there was no rain forecast, it still rained. These are the perils of not having any type of garage or proper workspace and living in Ireland. Forgotten, it's what it's supposed to be. What it's supposed to be It's surprised to say It's surprising to be said And you are I'm missing a little bit of video here but to build the sloping roof I added a second cross brace at the back of the bin hutch then cut four pieces of timber to length marking out the slide angle I'd need to cut them at and attach them using some pocket hole screws and anybody's time to see It's a wake of life Of anybody like I screwed in some 6mm plywood to use as the roof and also used some small scraps to brace the back and block the top of the bins from view when looking from the rear. 
When everything was together, the whole thing got two coats of garden-specific paint designed to dry fast and protect wood from the elements to a certain degree. When that was done, I measured some black plastic tubs I bought and cut down the remaining wood to make matching planters for each side of the bin hutch. They're just simple frames, pretty easy to put together and the tubs sit inside them. I used my largest drill bit to make drainage holes in the bottom of the tubs and filled them with potting compost. I then planted these out with a climbing shrub that will hopefully grow up and over the back of bin hutch with some winter flowers as bedding. I also bought eight shallow plastic tubs and screwed these down to the roof of bin hutch, filled them with the potting mix and started planting them out with some Irish heather.
I was rudely interrupted by Storm Ophelia but was pretty pleased that Ben Hutch got through the day unscathed. And then I planted out the rest of the tubs with violets, cyclamens and some other winter flower bedding. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that Spines and Splines is all about maintaining healthy work habits while working on creative projects, and I filmed some kind of exercise video to go with each project I make. I was having real trouble trying to think of something to go with this one, but because my husband and I have been lovingly referring to this raised garden bed shelter as Bin Hutch, after the glorious Mr. Show sketch from the late 90s, I decided the best course of action was to scour the internet for any semblance of a celebrity workout by anyone in the sketch because everybody likes a celebrity workout. I found a great New York piece by Bob Odenkirk on how he maintains amazing abs, but also found a fleeting comment from Janine Garofalo, who's the main character in the sketch, mentioning a Stairmaster. I don't have a Stairmaster machine, but I do have stairs, so check out that video next. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share and comment if you liked this video, and stay tuned to Spines and Splines for more creative projects and simple exercises you can do in your studio or workspace. Cheers!